Welcome back to a brief recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting with dual protests held across the North State yesterday, hosted by Free Palestine NorCal. One held in Reading outside City Hall, the other held in Crescent City. Both demonstrations were met with counter rallies as well. Cal Poly Humboldt's commencement ceremonies are moving after campus was occupied by protesters before being cleared out. But the damage was done, and so they've moved off campus. Graduation will now be happening at three locations this Saturday. Blue Lake Casino, Eureka Theater, and Eureka High. School officials say there was no way for staff to get the campus cleaned up and ready to host graduates and thousands of their guests after all of that. By the way, Columbia University has canceled its main commencement ceremony as well. This, as the ACLU and First Amendment Coalition wrote a letter condemning the campus closure, calling it constitutionally suspect. Two dogs died in a house fire in Reading Saturday night. The fire department says it started around 10 when a spark from the home's fireplace caught onto something flammable. Most of the home caught on fire, multiple crews responding, and authorities say no people were hurt, but two dogs were tragically killed in the blaze. California Supreme Court changing the law for how police can interact with the public. They ruled police cannot detain someone just because they're trying to avoid contact with law enforcement. National Fallen Firefighters Foundation hosted a memorial over the weekend paying tribute to the 89 firefighters who died in the line of duty last year, including North State pilot Tony Souza, who lost his life firefighting in Riverside County in August when his helicopter collided with another, killing Souza and two other men on board. You can watch the full event on the National Fallen Firefighters YouTube page. And now we'll send you to Preston with today's day planner. Good morning. Yeah, Nazi, a beautiful day on the way. If you're a fan of that cozy weather out of the coast elsewhere, not too showery. You might see a couple sprinkles in the northern tier. You look towards Siskiyou and Modoc counties for that action. But mid 50s out of the coast, 60 further inland in places like Willow Creek and Orleans, heading a little bit further into the valley. We'll see about 69 in Redding, 70 in Chico, and uh, maybe 71 in Oroville, one of the warm spots of the day. Partly cloudy skies on the way. Quick look at those skies. Again, we're seeing some cloud cover out to the west and showers just offshore this morning. Coming in a little bit later towards your lunch hour, still sprinkly in Humboldt and Del Norte counties. We will see a little bit of spotty shower activity in Modoc County as well. Moving into the evening, we're clearing things out, and tomorrow is the beginning of a wonderful sunny stretch across the North State with warming temperatures all the way through the week. Ooh, a wonderful sunny stretch. Yeah. It's going to be great. And by the way, we're going to show some love to our friends at home. It's Monday, the best day of the week, and you sent us some awesome photos. All right, starting with this picture sent in by Daybreak viewer Jennifer Brunello. Jennifer says Roscoe loves watching Aww, the morning news. Roscoe might be an early bird, but it looks like your other dog might be somewhat of a night owl. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Jennifer. Love it. Up next, another loyal furry four-legged Daybreak viewer. This is Stripe. Her owner, Cornelius Brittle, sent that in. Thank you so much. So cute. So cute, so cute. Look at that and make it a great day. You got a choice. <laughs>